What's up everyone, welcome to my channel and today we continue the walkthrough of GTA San Andreas the Definitive Edition. So we have already finished a couple of missions with the OG Loke, so let's continue. There's one more mission I think, so we're, we have already stolen the gear, uh, the RAM book. I'm pretty sure now we have to steal probably one more thing or probably whack somebody. Anyway, let's go to Burger Shot. And great. Hey, excuse me. Loke around here? I know, I just like those hats. Loke, is he available for communication? Who? Loke? Man. Oh, you mean Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, our plant technician called in six, so Jeff, Loke, he got promoted. So? So? He's out back cleaning a fryer. Well, that's some promotion right there. But, yeah, it, it, it's probably... S I know it sucks to clean this thing, I guess. Hey, what up, Lord? It's very oily and hot. DJ. What's up, homie? Hey, my shit's so tight right now, it's about to bust. So you happy now, homie? Happy? Man, hell no. I can't take this shit much longer. Man, I'm an artist. I'd rather be inside. Man, I can't get it there for nothing. Motherfuckers always want to keep a nigga down. And that CPO, Mad Dog's manager, is putting on me real heavy, man. He covered my style for real. Heavy? Man, he five foot three. <laughs> but that fool's strong. Man, we got to take him out. He done black me, man. I can't get in the game no way. I told you, I'm an artist, a communicator, and nobody can even hear my message. He going around telling everybody I'm whack. Well, he obviously ain't heard your new shit. That shit is outrageous. That's what I'm talking about, man. Down with a frown, on the tail, a sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to take that motherfucker out. That's crazy. Kill him? Well, I ain't mean, damn. Listen, he gonna be attending some awards ceremony. And that's the only time he leaves dog's side. That's crazy right there. <laughs> I'm not sure what happens next, like... Because where is the end to this? Like, at least of Nice is just crazy for this guy. Anyway, let's continue. And I guess after that, we'll take a mission with the Officer Tempeni. Because we'll also build up a very strange relationship with that dude. Okay. What's up now, man? One of the mad dogs show fun to set the burger shot across town. Said he was headed over to the music. Good looking. I'm gonna see if I can catch up with him. Okay. Now nah, that's a great strategy. But at the same time, I don't get why would he shoot the car. That's probably not his because this one's I rented out. So, let's fix it. close that was close yeah guys and during this mission it's very important to notice that you cannot really hit anything otherwise you'll have to get back and fix stuff which is very annoying because there's a time limit for this mission and now we're just gonna do the nice and smooth park so. well I hope it will work out nice and smooth yep Yep, that works. Hey, what kept you? Come on, we need to go and pick up the bus. And here's the bus. Congratulations on your award, you must be thrilled. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like to thank my fans, my mama, and my dealer. Obviously the dealer. The the sponsor of creativity. It's always the dealer. Let's go. Bunch of cops around here too. This mission looks nice and smooth so far, but 
Trust me, guys, it sometimes gets very annoying, especially... Well, I'm not gonna give you spoilers, so let's just get to the point. And here we go. That's crazy <laughs> to walk out with all the guns around. What kind of license permission you have to actually walk around like this? Hey man, take me back to Dog Mess. Not today, asshole. Today we taking the scenic route via the bottom of the ocean. Exactly. Big business time. Those guys are fast too. Like they drive quick. Never mind. This time we're at the speed. Who the fuck are you? Where's my usual driver? Unlock this fucking door. I can't fucking swim, you fucking psycho. Ah, so I've heard. What you want? Money? I got people. I'm surprised his driver didn't call. Shut up! And now we'll do something which is also quite controversial because I have a question, guys. So you see how we drown the car? And to jump out we need to open the door, right? So we opened the door, we jumped out. And how are we expecting those two to die in those conditions? Like, it's not even that deep in there, they're close to the pier, they are literally next to the pier, so they could easily get out of there. So anyway, uh, just a thought, uh, write down in the comments how do you think this kind of killing is possible. Hey, fuck you, man! And I don't care what you heard, I ain't nobody's ass technician, bitch! Also, I have a question. Do you hey, think that OG Loke is trying to copy the Tupac look? Listen, Carl, if I'm going back to a set, it just looks quite similar. Big party first. This may be my last chance to get home. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, I'm gonna slide back over to Grove Street and get those sounds bombastic, fantastic. All right, so what you want me to do? I want you to get ready for the park and get some girls, man. Okay. Get some real. Fly girls, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The ones in the bikinis and uh -huh. shit in the videos. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I told you, brother, I'm the chronicle of our struggles. The voice of the families, like Moses only. I feel like all those girls will leave the party the moment they're here. Like, it's dangerous to bring all the girls and expect some action when they hear special J, J Lokes. Sorry, OJ Lokes music. Like, that will ruin, doesn't matter what kind of reads you have, but if you invite all the girls to the party and tell them that there is a very fantastic rapper right there which sings like OG Loke, I think, yeah, it's just ruined. All those girls will just go to another party. Okay, we get another call. Hey, CJ, roll up, G. Hey, Loke. This party is jumping. We got a gang of crazy ass bitches in the house. You coming over, homie? Uh, I don't think uh, so, no, really. I, I think tonight. it will be a we fabulous a party. Disaster. I won't be rapping. I'm Mike Broke. Ah, oh, okay. I'm gonna come over right now, then. Yeah, it sounds like we're all on the same page. Like, the mic's broken, so... Alright, so now we can go there and just feel safe. Hey, Carl Johnson. CJ. Oh, shit. Come on over here, son. What I find very interesting about these two characters, Officer Pulaski and Officer Tempany, the Officer Pulaski is, I think, the voice actor for Officer Pulaski is, uh, I don't remember the name, but the guys from the Reserve are dogs, he was wearing like this sportsy outfit, he was the son of the, of the dude who organized the crime. We could shit on you um, for such a hype. And you Samuel Jackson is the second actor who is playing the Officer Tim Penny. Yeah, I know, I really have. love I really love Samuel Jackson. He's just such it's a brilliant work, character. CJ, and earn your freedom. There's a guy and across town. just in general, he's such a vibrant actor. 
like he's he's been playing everything like and everywhere but at the same time he was delivering uh, his performance on such a high level that it's just beautiful to watch him dude and you make sure he never leaves the neighborhood not even in a box get the fuck out Oh yeah, I still cannot remember the name of the actor from Reservoir Dogs. That's also uh, voicing the Orson Welles King. I don't remember what's his name, Sean Penn. Anyway, but if you remember, guys, uh, please type it in the comments just for the reference so anyway let's go and do something for Soplasky and Officer Tempani I kind of forgot did we get a permission to take out this guy or we just stole it because if we stole it then I'm pretty sure we get in, in a lots of trouble for this okay so we picked up one cocktail Molotov but the game tells us we picked up a crate of 25. <laughs> this is beautiful. But yeah, I guess guys, our driving skills are slowly getting better and better. Okay, time for a big business. Let's try this out. It's not good because that's not how I expect this thing to work out. I don't think whether that's good or not because if we get two stars that's bad. Anyway, so we have to also throw this in the windows. A second window. Um. Well, we still have one star, so I would say so far so good. Let's continue. Oh, that's bad. Let's try it out again. Okay, there should be one more guy. Okay, there he is. And one more. I think somewhere. Anyway, we have a lot of cocktail molotovs, so we can waste them like this. Okay, looks good. And let's do the third one. Brilliant. Now let's get out of here. Nah, seriously, we just smoked the house. We smoked the whole house. Like, this is bad. And also, by the way, that sounds quite weird. We just literally burned down the whole house just to get back in. Because I just don't get the logic a bit of this mission. So we were throwing all this stuff in the building, expecting everyone to die inside. But now we need to get one specific person out. Which tells us what, guys? Exactly. CJ's a simp. Stand back! Put it out! Put it out! Like, that's some next level simping oh right God, there. I'm so scared. Like, jumping in the burning building that you burned. Oh my God, what was that? Hey, the building's starting to collapse. We gotta get out of here fast. Alright, it's time to run. Quickly! Quickly! This fire is very weird, guys. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but. This update makes it literally confusing. Hurry up, put it out, put it out! Like the fire is moving way too quick. Like before the update it was pretty much straightforward, the fire was just at the one spot and you knew how to get rid of it. But right now it's like moving around and it doesn't give us a clear picture of whether we are doing it right or not. 
Like, look at this. Right now, we just need to randomly try to get rid of it without even understanding whether we're actually getting rid of it. Oh my god, the house is going to go! Yeah, it's really taking some time. Anyway, I hope it's just the last one we have to deal with. Hmm, doesn't mix. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, is she there? I warn you, I don't give a fuck. Anyway, okay. I was just thinking, whatever by accident, just suffocate her. That's hey, that man, would be I so fucked up. Life. Well, that's not exactly I how I thought you could get ghosts. Yeah, please, thanks. Okay. That's not our car, is it? I think it's I think it's the car of another car. Oh, that's bad. I know. I really hate how they program bubbles, guys. Because like, you give them one second, they already know that that's you. It doesn't matter what car this is. I thought you'd run away. I never ran away. Okay. I just needed to get away from shit. Like, I don't know how we got that popular. I was shown that. Denise, Denise Robinson. But anyway, we got the reason the girlfriend. Yeah, I like that. I wouldn't put this method in the notebooks how to get a girl. Okay, I'll catch you later, CJ. Okay. Well, I guess if CJ will ever want to marry Denise, what he'll have to do is probably I'd know run down the house of her parents. Alright, and I think that's all for today, so thank you everyone, uh, press down the like button, leave the comments if you have any, and I'll see you next time.